I like making videos about famous buildings, but I also make videos about mechanical objects. In this video, I think I've found the best of both worlds. The Mercedes-Benz Stadium, which is the chosen venue for the 2019 Super Bowl. It has a retractable roof unlike any other in the world. In this video, I want to show you the roof, the halo board, the floor layouts, and some interesting facts along the way. Let's do this. The Mercedes-Benz Stadium took three years to build, finally complete in August of 2017. It has quite a unique shape on the outside. It cost $1.6 billion and has 72,000 seats. The stadium is located in Atlanta, Georgia. So here's the United States, the state of Georgia, and here is the city of Atlanta. This is the home of the Atlanta Falcons football team. The Falcon statue can be found here, and there's solar panels over here to help power the stadium. Most people will enter the building from any one of these four gates. The inside of the stadium is very open. This is a modern stadium, so there's plenty of Wi-Fi access points, and you'll get excellent cell phone service no matter where you are in the building. There's a few different levels here. The main ones are the 100, 200, and 300 concourse levels, but there's also levels in between them. Let's briefly go through each one of these. The field level has private suites at each end of the field. Watch the game on the seats right next to the field, or go inside and watch from your comfortable suite. Notice how these are directly underneath the closest stadium seats. There's hallways to get around back here, and there's four different clubs to hang out in. Just right outside the club, you can watch the game from the sidelines here. This is the 100 concourse level, which has the closest stadium seats. There's plenty of refreshments. Here's where the sports bars are located, and let's not forget about the restaurants. This is the homegrown legends wall. It features a football helmet from every single high school football team in Georgia. Here's the team store, just in case you want to buy official merchandise. And there's plenty of escalators and stairs to get up to the higher levels. This is the S1 suite level, for those that want to reserve a more private place to watch the game. Here's the 200 concourse level, plenty more seats and of course drinks and food. This is the S2 suite level. This area here is the press box so they can get a good view of the game. And here's the 300 concourse level. This is where you'll find the 100 yard club. It's a place for fans to hang out, eat food, and look at the unique team displays. Let me just point out the sky bridges over here. You can get a good look out the windows all while still being within view of the field. Now as with any stadium, you can't put supports to hold up the roof. That would take away seats and block the views of the field. So for this stadium, there's incredibly strong metal beams that extend across the top and then the halo board goes right in the middle of it all. This is a 360 degree video display screen that holds the world record for being the largest display screen of its kind. No matter where you sit in the stadium, you'll be able to get a good view of the halo board. This is a big deal when you think about the old way of just putting a tiny display screen at the end of the field. Not everyone can see it very well. Let's get a good size comparison for the halo board. If you were to stretch out the halo board, it would be slightly higher than the Eiffel Tower. It's made of 616 tiny sections. Each section is made up of even smaller panels. And on these panels are a bunch of tiny LED lights which are either red, green, or blue. These colors combined together can create the images that you see on screen. My favorite part of this stadium is the retractable roof. It can open or close in only 8 minutes. This way a little bad weather doesn't have to ruin the game. It's got 8 pedals and they each weigh 500 tons. Each pedal rides on 2 tracks. Let's just look at one of the pedals. The inner track has the wheels riding on top. But the outer track has the wheels riding on the bottom. This prevents the roof pedal from tipping over. So the pedal simply rides along the two tracks. Here it's closed, and here it's open. With all eight pedals doing the same thing, we get this kind of optical illusion, which looks pretty cool. Each pedal has to be in sync with the others to move at the same time. If just one of the pedals stop working, the whole roof won't be able to close or open. It's all or nothing. Outside of game day, you can take a paid tour to see this up close. 
My name's Jared and I make 3D animations on how things work. I hope you're ready because I have a lot of fun things planned for the coming year. So press that subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell so you're notified when I post a new animation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.